Hi everybody, I'm Laura Hart and thanks for coming to my Tuesday talk. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about what people refer to as the white residue on fired fine silver clay. Um, I am not a metallurgist. I do not uh, want to say that I know exactly what I'm talking about. But I have heard a lot of explanations, and so I'm just going to pass that on to you. Um, there are many people who think that the um, white surface of fired fine silver clay is some kind of a residue that has to be brushed away um, in order for the silver to show. And that is not true. In the heat of the kiln, the metal crystals line themselves up in such a way they're kind of jumbled and so they are only reflecting the white light spectrum of the light spectrum. Um, so, so your pieces appear white. Um, the surface when it comes out of the kiln um, is the topography of the surface is kind of jumbled. And if you think about it in terms of um, a golf course, the surface right when it comes out of the kiln is kind of like the rough. Um, the grass is long and untrimmed and unwieldy and sticking up in all different directions. So that surface is only able to reflect the white part of the light spectrum. Then when you do a brush finish, um, that is more like the fairway. It's been clipped a little, so it's shorter. It's more in alignment. It's more well behaved. And so you do get a little bit of a silver appearance. But then when you burnish it, it's like the grass on the tee. It's very, very short, very clipped, very manicured, and is kind of like velvet. Um, so it's much more able to uh, show the silver appearance of the silver light spectrum. Um, if you notice, there are slight differences in all of the silver colors. Um, if we talk about fired fine silver, that has a very, very white appearance. 960 has more of a kind of a dove gray appearance, and sterling silver has a very definite gray appearance. And once you start brushing and burnishing and um, pushing down those crystals, then the silver really takes over, and the harder you burnish, the brighter and more silver and more shiny and flatter the appearance of the metal is. Um, also, when it comes out of the kiln, it's what's called annealed, A-N-N-E-A-L-E-D. Is that correct? I think so. Um, and that means that the crystals have arranged themselves um, in the heat. They've straightened out, and so they're much softer. So the metal is more ductile. You can bend it, excuse me, bend it easier. Um, and then once you start working it, whether it's by hammering it a little bit or bending it or polishing it, um, the metal crystals get harder and they get into kind of a tangled appearance so that it becomes much more stiff and sturdy, which is what we want. So when you are thinking about um, taking your work out of the kiln and getting rid of the residue, there is no residue. All you're doing is polishing the silver crystals and aligning them so that they are able to reflect the white light and the silver light, sorry, so that they are able to reflect the silver part of the light spectrum. And the harder you burnish, the shinier and more silver it will become. So that's it for today, short Tuesday talk. If you have any questions, ask. And in this um, 
I will uh, put a link to a Pinterest board that I have. The Pinterest board is called Metal Clay Hyphen Technical. And in that Pinterest board, you can see microscopic photographs of fine silver and a really interesting um, page that uh, will tell you all about what silver and other metals do in the heat and their crystalline surface. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you later.